Nicole Scott here for Mobile Geeks, and today it's the first day of, I guess, our cooking show. We're getting into the connected home, the connected kitchen, and this is our very first connected appliance. This is called the Thermomix TM5. So I actually already am a pretty good cook, so I'm excited to figure out all the different ways this can make my life easier. Eventually, I'm gonna figure out how to do these stackable meals because this is actually something where you can cook an entire meal all in one. You can see that we've got like a steaming tray for veg, right? So you can like cook something in here, like your meats, and then you can actually just have the steam come up and uh, cook your veg on top. That's not what we're doing today because it's so summery out. We wanna make some ricotta and then we wanna make a nice lemon-lime sorbet with some of our nice botanist gin. All right, so first let's turn our thermomix mix on. Press this button right here. We have a recipe chip here on the side, preloaded with a whole bunch of different recipes. We have our recipe from the Thermomix Australia community, and it says that we should add the milk. So before we add the milk, let's take all this stuff out. So here's the lid, and then there's actually a steaming basket that comes with this as well. So if you want to cook some rice or something else, that you can use an additional layer of cooking, but we don't actually need that right now. Uh, we just need an empty Thermomix. So here I've got two liters of milk. I'm just gonna pour that on in. All right. So now that our milk's in, we're just gonna hit the home button. So we wanna set it to 100 degrees. So we put the lid on, and then we wanna set it to speed two. 10 minutes. So then we're gonna have a ricotta tomato salad. So next, while this is busy cooking, I'm gonna chop some tomatoes. So I just got some organic tomatoes at the market, and I'm just gonna cut them in half and put them here in my dish. All right, so our 10 minutes is up, and I am supposed to heat this at 100, and then we're just gonna put it on to speed four while I pour in the vinegar to help curd separate out. So you just pour in a big slosh of vinegar and then let that go for a little bit. So then you wanna take some cheesecloth and we're gonna put it into the rice basket so that we can strain out the curds. Now we're gonna turn that off and then we're gonna let it rest for two minutes and then we should have some curds. <laughs> so we've just gone over to the sink and poured our milky creamy mixture through the strainer, through the rice basket, and now we're just going to put a little bit on top of our tomato salad. Okay, we're just gonna top it with a little bit of garlic chive and we're ready to serve it. All right, now let's get started with our lemon slush. So here's all the ingredients. Like instead of water, I'm gonna add gin. And so 150 of sugar. Is there 115? Hit next. The zest from one lemon. So now we just turn it all the way up to 10. <laughs> Now four lemons peeled and pip removed. Oh, look at that. Now because we're gonna substitute gin for water, um, I'm deciding to add a couple of cucumbers in instead of two lemons. So two lemons and two cucumbers. Instead of water, 500 grams of botanist gin. <laughs> okay, so we're just gonna cover it up again. And now we're gonna turn the speed all the way up to 10. So I've got a nice big pitcher of lemon cucumber slush with botanist gin, as well as my ricotta tomato salad. Mm -hmm. 